Hey guys, it's Wisteria and welcome back to Animal Crossing. So today is Halloween. We are not starting the event just yet. I do want to get through the normal things of the day and then we'll start the event. But let's go ahead and check our mail. That's actually the second time I had to do that intro. I'm gonna have a tiny rant here, but like... Oops, I did not mean to do that. I'm like... Just, I'm mad right now. But like, I live near a park and... They play sports ball games there, as you do in a park, you know. But <laughs> sometimes a group of obnoxious parents decides, Hey, look, my like eight-year-old threw a ball. Let's go through the neighborhoods as a parade of cars honking as loudly as possible. They woke me up today at like nine in the morning. I went back to sleep as soon as I did. They woke me up again because they came back by. <sighs> And then, as soon as I started recording, they come back by, and I'm about to lose my mind. I don't know why they think that's a cool thing to do, but they do it. It's so annoying. Anyways, rant over, let's go back to happy Animal Crossing things. Maybe this will calm me down, because I'm so mad. We have a letter from the HRA. I don't know if that's changed at all. I don't really care too much about the HRA right now. We have something from the museum. Uh, an ammonite. Do we have that already? I can't remember. We'll have to ask Blathers. And then we have another thing from the museum. We have a dinosaur track. I don't remember if we have that one either. I know we're missing one of the smaller things, but I can't remember which one it was. Well, we have a letter from home. My dear Wisteria, if there's one meal your dad loves, it's pork chops. Of course, I only buy them on sale as they're pricey. When shopping, use your brains, not your belly. Your mom, the savvy shopper. Um pork chops like <laughs> I I'm pretty sure like there's something that like like eventually your mom will be like I don't understand why you went to move with the animals or something like that but like we have pigs in our town I don't think that eating pork chops would be a very <laughs> socially accepted thing here but okay whatever um a quick household tip, some furniture sets aren't available in any store. Sadly, we at the Happy Room Academy can't offer any advice regarding these sets. Okay, thanks. And then we have another one from home. My dear Wisteria, I was so excited to start my new jazz dancing class until some big-haired dits in an ugly leotard told me it looked like I was square dancing. The nerve. I'll jazz them. Okay, well that was weird. Let's read the bulletin board. I feel like my nose is also kind of like... I don't know, just weird. So if I'm talking weird, I'm sorry. Ooh, who wants to play my little game? If you can find the kitty stereo I buried in one of the four acres, it's yours, but it may already be gone. Did I see this one? I don't think I did. The fall fishing season is here. If you're hooked on fishing, join us every Sunday in November to see if you got skills with the gills. I don't know if I'm going to upload every Sunday, but I'm going to at least do it once. Oh, and then I figured out, I'm pretty sure it's England that does this like, they fall back before America does? I never knew that was a thing, but yeah. Um, let's go ahead and go to the dump real quick. And we should also... Okay, the four acres are over here. So we gotta be on a lookout for that. Let's kind of run around, see if we can find it in the upper part of town. Oh, here's the money pit thing. Yay! We haven't found this in a while. There's so many weeds. I like how the grass has just, like, changed to be, like, red now. That's weird. It was more orange. I thought, but... Maybe not. I actually forgot to record this on Thursday, so I'm having to do it on a Saturday. So I had to time travel back. And yeah, so that might have messed with things a bit too. Did I go over an acre? I think I did. Okay. Could be somewhere around here. Ooh, is this it? That, that's Velma. I don't want to talk to you, Velma, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and talk to her. I'm bored. You do, of course, know that you can grow- <sighs> Why is the only thing they ever tell me is about planting fruit trees? I know this, Velma. This is why no one talks to you. You're not, you're not very interesting. Let me dig up my thing. Oh, it was a fossil. Dang it, I was hoping it was that stereo. Guess we need the fossils too, though. Maybe it's around here. Guess we could go in the police station too. We were supposed to be going to the dump, but now we're down here. It's probably behind a tree and I can't see it very well or something, but we'll find it eventually. Someone lost a shovel? I didn't know you could just straight up lose a shovel. That's weird. Let's take this paper, though. Don't know that we need the shovel, but I guess we can keep it there just in case somehow we lose ours or if we ever make another character, which I don't think we would. Unless if we decide to try and do paths, but in a game like... This is a very big 
town, you know? I don't think I'd be able to do paths and there's not much going through it. It'd just be kind of weird. Okay, so I'm not seeing that stereo. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run back up there to the dump and then we'll go see Tom Nook and then we'll set it to be nighttime so we can do the Halloween event. I'll look for the kitty stereo more later. More stationary. Well, guess we won't run out anytime soon. That's good. All these weeds. I definitely need to go buy more candy. We did not get much at all. I don't even remember what you get for giving villagers candy in this one. I don't know. Probably should have read up on it, but you know, it's fun to just kind of do things, I guess. I don't know. Oh wait, has anybody moved? I feel like I'm missing someone, but like... Oh, someone actually moved in? A kitty? That sounds like a cute villager. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think anyone's moved. I'm bad at keeping up with those type of things, but yeah, it looks like we'll have to go meet kitty in a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, ooh, look at that. <gasps> I don't know if we really have any raffle tickets. Like, I think we have one, but don't we need like five? Yep, five raffle tickets. I don't think we have that many. Oh, that makes me so sad because I love the lovely furniture. Well, I guess we can't really sell anything to him today. I forgot he does this at the end of the month. But yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and put some stuff away. Oh, I can't get any more candy. We didn't get much at all. This Halloween event's not gonna go very well. I probably should have got on in between and bought some candy and pulled up weeds but i didn't i guess we can go ahead and meet kitty let's do that first so otherwise she'll be in her halloween outfit we won't really get to see what she looks like i bet she's a cat but i could be wrong oh, i guess she's inside of her house oh i like it when they're in here because then you get to see what their room's like she is definitely a cat oh she's kind of weird looking but that's okay oh no she's another one of these villagers <laughs> you don't have to shout i'm right here rower and I have delicate ears, so show a little restraint. Pardon? Your name is what? Wisteria? You simply must be joking. Teehee, what a sad name. Hey, at least my name's not literally what species I am. That's like if I was just called human. Like, what? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean it. Or at least, I didn't mean for you to hear it. My name is Kitty. Isn't it a fabulous name? Don't tell me I know. It's been nice meeting you, Rao. So here we have another villager we're not going to talk to very often. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of our stuff down and then I'll be back with the Halloween event. Okay, so we are back. The event has started. Everyone, get in costume. The Halloween festivities are about to begin. Oh, one like Halloween. When I was getting ready, I was just listening to this song. I'm like, not sure why. It's not the best Animal Crossing song I've ever heard, but it's nostalgic to me. So, I don't remember much about this event except I am basically the only one that's giving out candy or being spooked as far as I know. Completely unfair. I don't even get to wear a costume. Whatever. We'll just... Let's go find someone. Try and give them some candy. Don't want to go very far at first because I think whenever you give them candy they'll give you something good but I don't know. Oh look. Hi Rolf. Trick or treat. Ra. Hey. 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 Give me some candy, Rolf. Of course, here's some candy. Don't know why we have to come to you to give you the candy, or why we don't get candy ourselves, but whatever. It's mine, Grolf. Now that's a sweet deal. Thanks, Grolf. Wait, you don't even give us anything? You only give us things if we don't give you candy? <sighs> this makes me mad. Why'd I buy candy then? Like, I'd rather them prank me. Actually, let me make sure I'm not doing anything weird. I'm gonna Google this event, make sure I know what it is. Okay. So I now know what we're supposed to do. And I think at the Wrath of Resetti, we're gonna reset. Because Jack actually is in this game. I didn't know that. But you're supposed to only give the candy to him. You're supposed to avoid your villagers. Unless if you're wearing a cool article of clothing, which they could change, or a piece of furniture you don't like. So I might bring those with me and put all the candy in the letters so that they can't get to them. So yeah, I'm going to reset. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm scared. We gotta talk to Resetti. Don't really want to. Maybe he'll be nice to us and forget. Mm -mm, nope. <laughs> okay. 
hello, um, allow me to introduce myself. The names are Seti, Mr. Seti. Have we met before? At the post office, perhaps? Yeah, whatever. Anyway, let me just say, thanks for buying this game, Animal Crossing. Um, on behalf of everyone at Nintendo, I, um, I... Hey, he's like breaking the fourth wall here. Seti, calm down. <laughs> what was the next part? Uh, oh, forget it. That's enough. Let's get down to business. What do you say? Because you may not know it, but you and I got issues to discuss. First, let me just tell you what it is I'm doing here, just so there are no misunderstandings later on. You, my friend, reset your game, didn't you? Huh? Maybe by accident? Maybe on purpose, but you pressed it. Maybe you didn't, huh? Maybe you just went and turned the power off without saving. Sound familiar? Mm hmm. What? Sorry, what was that? I didn't catch that last bit. Did you just say I'm right? You did what I said you did? Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, you listen and listen good, because I get really angry when I gotta repeat stuff I gotta say. The setting is like pressing an emergency call button. You press it and I gotta come redo the riot act. See? Also, you gotta save before you turn the power off. If you don't save, it's the same as your setting. Well, okay. That last part, I just added that. Why? Because I wanted to forget about the other games for a minute, will ya? I'm here to suggest that you try and play this game, Animal Crossing, without hitting reset. Got it? I know what you're thinking. Whether I hit reset or not, it should be up to me. After all, it's my Nintendo GameCube. <laughs> so much like, huh, the fourth wall has just been utterly destroyed. Well, sorry, rules are rules, okay? You know what I'm saying? Let's not make a big deal out of this in a discussion. This being our first meeting, I'm gonna let you off easy. Think of this is a friendly warning for me to you. Oh, uh, one more thing. This is my job. I take it seriously, so next time you see me, it's no more Mr. Nice Mole. Oh, yeah, and another thing I guess I gotta say here? I really watched my language here today. I'm not usually quite so, you know, so polite. Dang, Rosetti. If I'm being truthful here, I gotta tell you, I've been told I've got what you call an acid tongue. I sort of scare people. Hey, that's who I am. Nothing I can do about it. What? I'm supposed to say sorry for being me? Look, it's nothing personal. I ain't trying to be mean or cruel or nothing. I'm a monster. For those people who get their feelings bruised easily, I gotta apologize in advance. Just deal with it, okay? Dang, how long are you gonna talk? You're wasting the whole episode, Rosetti. The deal is I get paid to be nasty, crazy world. Uh, well, I figure it's about time for me to get out of here, please. So, uh, yeah, here's hoping I don't have to come see you no more. Now, scram. You scram. Now it's the Halloween event again. Okay, so let me go in here. We might check the dump too to see if there's any clothes. I've made a mess of my house. Please ignore it. Okay, so we have six pieces of candy. So I need to get things out of six different letters. I don't think tools are affected. I read that, so that should be fine. I guess we can see if stationery is. It wouldn't be the end of the world if I lost my stationery. Is there any piece of furniture I don't really want? Maybe this plant? Pretty sure they changed it into other things, but I'd rather have the Halloween stuff than most of the stuff, to be honest, but I think that's all we'll get for now. If we want to get more, we will. Now, let me just put the candy in here instead in case we do find Jack. I wish we had a different outfit to put on too. I'm gonna try and find one because you can either get a pumpkin head or tattered clothes. I don't know if they automatically put it on you if you're wearing something like this. That is just a design. I'm not really sure, but yeah. Don't want them getting my candy. I was curious. I was like, what? I thought they were supposed to give me the spooky set. So I was very confused, but it's okay. We have it figured out now. We just need to look for Jack and try not to get caught by any villagers. At least too much. Hopefully they don't, like, realize we have candy in our letters or something. Is there anything in here? Nope. Looks like nothing's gonna be thrown in there today, so let's just run around looking for Jack. Oh dang, that's not Jack. Jack's the one, he looks the same, but he won't chase you. That's how you tell the difference. We also need to talk to Tortimer. I think he has something for us. But I feel like we should wait. The bad thing is, do they change spooky furniture into stuff. Maybe I should empty out my pockets even more. I just killed some flowers. Perfect. <laughs> I'm a murderer. Pretty sure Jack teleports each time you find him too. Not cool. Oh no! We got caught! Um, yeah, I don't have any candy, so don't have any. Uh, oh, my outfit's changed to ugly. Dang it. That's okay. Oh, you're chasing me, so you're a threat. I don't want to get caught much. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, that was Jack, wasn't it? Because, oh no, one of them's Jack, one of them isn't. How am I going to keep from getting caught by you? This is bad. I'm going to go down here. Mess with my inventory. Hopefully this will be okay. Hopefully we can get to Jack. And then pause in time to protect our spooky furniture. Oh gosh, she spotted me. Ah, I know that's Jack. Has to be. Okay, okay. Trick or treat. Ho ho ho. Um, how did you know I was the true Jack, King of Halloween? Well, now that you found me, you've got candy, right? Of course. Let's give him the candy. Yay, thank you. 
Okay, of course only a fool would dare go out on Halloween without some candy. But still, it pleases me. You have earned a reward for your kindness, my child. Here, take this. Yay! See? Good things happen when you give me candy. If you want a rare item, come to me, Jack. I only come around once a year after all. Well, see you. Okay, okay. Gotta put this up. Does he not disappear? Can we just keep giving this to him? Why does he have to be near this person? Oh, maybe if it's a present? I'll just go ahead and put it in that thing. Ooh, spooky bed. Cool, we have a bed now. Okay, let's just put that in there. Does he disappear? Is he gonna disappear? Oh, we're gonna get caught. <laughs> candy, candy, candy. I need candy. Give me some candy now, snouty. Oh, wait, I don't have any. <laughs> what? You're not going to give me candy? Fine, I've got ways of dealing with people like you, snouty. <laughs> See what happens when you don't share. Okay, maybe now she'll leave me alone? Okay, Jack's coming over here, which is good. What'd she do anyways? Oh, we got a jack-in-a-box. That's cool. I'm not even bothered. I love Halloween. Let's go ahead and try and give another piece of candy to him. Halloween is the happiest holiday of the year. I'll show you how happy it'd be, or it can be, if you talk to me with tons of candy on hand. What? Do we have to leave the acre and then come back? Let's go ahead and protect this candy. I don't know. I guess we can go find Tortimer. Or let's see if that moves him. Can we only get one piece of furniture from him? Okay, it looks like he might have disappeared. I think he did. Okay, that's fine. I was just a little confused. Let's just go this way and find Tortimer and hopefully find Jack again on the way. Okay, here's Tortimer. Well, young Wisteria, did anyone play any tricks on you or did you bribe them with treats? It's Halloween, so everyone in town is all worked up over the mere thought of candy. You better watch yourself. But since it is Halloween, I have a treat for you. Yay! It's Katrina's tent. This is what I think of when I think about Halloween. It captures the spooky spirit. Not that it'll protect you from anyone who wants to play tricks on you, Sprout. <laughs> Worf. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here too, so that they don't transform it either. Because that could be bad. Now let's look for Jack some more until we run out of candy. I want to know why the villagers have like magical powers that they're able to transform my stuff on Halloween. That's kind of concerning. I don't like it. Oh gosh, you're not Jack. <gasps> That's Jack. Okay, so we, we're gonna get caught by you just so you won't chase us while we're trying to get Jack. Okay, you did something horrible to me. Oh, I think you changed my clothes again. Oh, how dramatic. Okay. Um, now let's get out the candy and get this from Jack. I looked up a guide, Jack. That's how. Okay, yay. We got the present. Let's go ahead and protect it. It's probably safe inside of here, but I don't have much inventory room anyways. Ooh, a spooky vanity. That's cool. Now let's go look for him again. I'm actually kind of glad I didn't get more candy than this because this is very time consuming. Oh no no. Oh, I got stuck behind the rock. Peaches always gets me. What the heck, Peaches? I remember when I was a little kid, I hated this event so much because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And I had my stuff on me and they just kind of ruined all of it and it was awful. Ah, oh, dang it. Keep getting caught. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go home and put the spooky stuff up just in case. I'm kind of nervous. It's not gonna look very pretty at all, but that's okay. Oh, the spooky bed's narrower than I thought. Oh, I like it. It's cute. I'm glad they added in the creepy set New Leaf because it's kind of sad that you get the spooky set right as October's ending. I don't even know what they're doing to me anymore. <laughs> we still have our holly bonsai. We have a jack-o'-lantern now. <gasps> Ooh. We have a lot of jack-o'-lanterns. Let's put those in our house too. I like that. It's cute. I want to see them. Oh dang, we just keep getting caught. Ah, my house is such a mess. That's okay. Why am I walking forward without telling my character to? I do not know. Let's drop that. Oh, I love it. It doesn't light up though. That's kind of sad. And then, check in the box. Oh, they're so cute. I love them. Okay, let's go ahead and go back out there. Try and finish this event up. I don't know that we've ever seen this bug before. Hold on. I'll just catch him real quick. Maybe that's him up there? That might be him. I think it is. He's not running. I'll let them catch me. Or him. I think it's just stinky up here. Okay, and then let's talk to Jack again. See what we got that time. Ooh, spooky carpet. Cool. Okay, now let's make our rounds again to all the villager houses. Oh no, I scared a bug that I don't think we have. Hold on. No, friend. There we go. 
Oh, you're not chasing me. You're probably him. Okay, come catch me. Now let's give Jack some candy. And let's see what we get this time. Oh, another spooky bed. Okay. We'll just go ahead and put this up here. We can sell it tomorrow or I guess technically the next week. <laughs> now I just need to find him two more times. Oh, there's a present over there. Oh, it like ascended. Oh, well, I guess you're Jack. Okay, okay so this time we got ooh, a spooky lamp. Cool. So now we only have to find him one more time. So let's go ahead and try to do that. Oh, I think I see him over there. Oh, that was easy enough. Didn't walk very far, only went to Curly's house. Let's go ahead and get the last piece of candy out. It would take forever to get the full set, especially since he gives you duplicates. Oh, okay, let's see what he gave us. Another spooky vanity. Okay, so it does look like we have things to sell. Let's go ahead and run back home. I really need to sort out this house either next episode or in between episodes or something. But yeah, let's go ahead. Maybe we should have the spooky carpet out. I actually quite like the spooky carpet. Okay, we'll go with that. And then here we should have the lamp, I think. Yes. There we go. But there's a way to turn lamps on and off. I don't know why that's not, but okay. And I think we got two duplicates, so we didn't really actually get all that much, but that's okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.